Hello everyone, Bandit Sues again. It's 10.26 p.m. on Friday, September 16th, 2011. And I'm making this video in response to a question um, from someone that said, you know, it's now the 16th and the alignment's coming up on the 26th. Shouldn't we be seeing something? And I totally agree. We should be seeing something in the sky, either in the daytime or at night or at sunset, sunrise, I don't care. I just want to see something. This is getting kind of ridiculous. So anyway, this is a video from uh, some folks in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it shows this object in the sky that's close to the sun. And as he moves the camera around, you can see that this thing is pretty steady in the sky. Nice little round thing there. And we have this, of course we have the, the lens flare here, but if you notice and you watch the video, it's cool because it's got this rainbow around this object and it correlates directly with this object if you watch there's this rainbow all the way around it and it seems to me that the center of the rainbow is this little white dot here so you know we all want to see this object and the next bit I'm going to show you another video from somebody in Texas. Okay, in this video, titled Comet Ellenin Can Be Seen in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but not in Texas? <laughs> What's up with that? So this gentleman went out and took a very nice video of the sun, and, you know, he's got his lens flares just like everybody else, but I don't see any object out here. You know? And frankly, it should be there, right? I would think. Because I'm waiting for the day when we can all walk outside and see this thing. Whatever it is. I don't care. I just want to see something. So, you know, the question is, what was that dot? Was that something like the object Elenin? Was it something else? Well, let's go to JPL and take a look. Okay, so we've come back to JPL here, and this is uh, the C2010X1 Elenin object. And I like to make Earth the center because it allows us to look at it from our vantage point. So anyway, yeah, so here's the deal. And we've got, let's see if this is going to work. We've got our object out there. And, you know, it's still a considerable distance away from the sun. If you look, but look what else is out here. Hey, look at Venus. Hey, how you doing? Right out there. Right in the vicinity of where this little white light was in the, in the Tulsa video. But you can see, there's a considerable distance between the object and the Sun. So that very well could have been Venus. Very, very well. So anyway, there's another object that I've been tracking that uh, is kind of interesting, interesting to me, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, we're back again, and we're looking at an object that's titled 2007 TD. I guess it's an asteroid, comet, you know, dwarf star, who knows what it is. You know what I mean? So anyway, this thing is pretty close to us right now, as of the 16th of September. And if we get a little closer here, and make Earth the center, we can see that this thing's coming in over the top right now. And it's actually kind of already past us from this angle, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. So as we zoom in here, we'll just get rid of these orbits for a second. And we'll see that, look at this thing, it's right over the top of us right now. Not quite, it's just coming in. But now we're looking at it from, from right overhead. And I just want you to notice what happens in the coming days. Just keep an eye on this top number right there. 
right there. The 22nd, we're, we're dancing with this puppy. And keep in mind, here's the alignment starting here. The 25th, 26th, 27th. We've got our girl Ellen in out here. And she's going to be out here somewhere in between us and the sun. So, is there going to be maybe a collision between this object and us? I don't know. Because, you know, on the 26th, as we know, the gravity will be a flowing through here. <laughs> And I do mean a flowing, apparently. Okay? It's not it's not a fact. I'm not I'm not a scientist, but according to my research, every time we line up with the sun and this object, a lot of shit hits the fan. Pardon my French, but anyway, this thing's gonna be right in the vicinity on the twenty sixth, so it should be very, very interesting to see what's gonna happen. But the reason why I made this video is because, you know, somebody in Tulsa, Oklahoma took a video of the sun and saw a white dot, but then somebody in Texas could walk outside and video the same sun and they see nothing. I've taken, you know, I'm watching the sun day, night, all the time. I take several videos of it all the time with different filters and so forth, and I haven't seen anything yet, because if I did, I would post it. The other video that I did uh, was you know, entitled, Is This Comet Elenin or whatever, Is This Elenin? Um, it turned out to be a star called Arcturus, which, when I look at that star in the sky at night at about 8.30 off to the west, it's a it's a nice red star that blinks and turns different colors. And, and uh, to me, it looks like it may be following the same trajectory as, as the comet Elenin the object. Um, but, you know, that's just my wild speculation. Um, I've taken a lot of close-up video of the star Arcturus and I can see there's a couple of different moons around it. And, um, you know, it's just a brilliant star. It's the, it's the most beautiful thing in the sky. So I'm just wondering what that is. And that's, you know, again, that's something that I can see at night with my own eyes. But, um, you know, I'm I'm just waiting for the day when we can all walk outside and see the same thing and and all be uh, united with that. So, again, I want to thank you for watching my video. I appreciate your time, and I wish you peace and love, folks. I'll see you soon.